My name is Megan, and I've had some interest in my Hobonichi Teicho and how I keep it, and so I thought I'd do a little video on it. So this is my Teicho for 2019. I got the black and sky blue, and it has the cover on cover, and I added this applique patch I got from Joanne Fabrics here in Kansas. And on the back, it just has a picture of my lizard wearing a cute little hat. This is Squee, my bearded dragon. Um, I really like my setup this year. The cover on cover really helps protect it from all like the glue and stuff that I get on it. Um, so that really helps uh, keep everything fresh. So I figured I'd just give a quick flip through of my hobo and kind of show you how I use it. So on the inside, I put a little applique of a narwhal, and on the back, there's a matching one of a little permaid, a little cat mermaid. I keep just a clear ruler in there as well, just for some of my Zentangles designs and things like that. And then here up top in some of the slots, I just have some ephemera that I want to use um, for different things, as well as um, a little card case as well that has some extra ephemera that I plan on using on some of my pages. I imprint at the place I work at, so I'm actually able to get my name and the date imprinted on my Hobonichi, and I really like that. It lets me personalize it nicely. So I haven't really decorated this cover yet, but I plan to. So we open up here, and then I'm going to put my name and my phone number there. I just haven't gotten it to it yet. I'm trying to get a gold gel pen that will match the gold stickers. These are just some ideas of things I'd like to draw or write about in my Hobonichi this year, so I just kind of keep a running list of that. The next pages are the calendar pages and a few extra pages that I have just been documenting new washi tape I get over the year. So this year already I have been quite obsessed with washi tape and I found some good deals. So I've had quite a few new designs of washi tape that I've added. So I just kind of go through all of those little shot sheets there because I don't really use them for calendars and planning yet. When we get to the monthly spread, this is January, and I've been doing a Zentangle a day on this one. I did it last year, and I really liked it. I haven't gotten to February yet, but I'm thinking something heart-related, so I don't know. I'll just do something different each month in the calendar pages. And then this is the page they have before the actual day pages get here. It says, Turning a Page to a New Year, and I just decided I'd kind of make it a 2019 pin board of things that I like, things that inspire me, just things like that. And so this is what I have so far on there. It still needs a little bit more collage to go, though. I participate in the Hobonichi challenges, and so on the first day of every month, I'm going to have the list of the challenges. And so this month, or uh, this month was just um, for January 2019, and so sometimes I do them, sometimes I just do whatever I want on the pages. My main medium I use in my Hobonichi is watercolors, and these are the main ones that I use. This is my big watercolor set here that I have. It's 48 pans, and mostly they're Daniel Smith, Reeves, um, Windsor & Newton, Southern Culture Academy, just a whole bunch of selected colors that I have, and I just like to play with them and see what kind of colors I can get. I've got a couple stickers. This one's from uh, OE Writes, I believe. This is from the Paper Penguin Company, and this one was a sticker I got um, from one of the Instagram accounts that I follow. She makes little bearded dragon stickers, and since I have bearded dragons, I just love those. So here are just a few um, pictures and things, like this is the challenge. This was something I saw on a seller on Etsy, Studio Tuesday was their name, and I just really liked the print they had, so it inspired me to kind of try to do my own little print. This right here is my smaller color watercolors that I use. These are from Prima and Jane Davenport. I've gotten them all in her little Jane Davenport case, and I've just kind of chosen my favorite ones and pushed them all in the pan. So this is kind of my watercolor set that I use when I'm traveling or running around. Again, just more drawings. This one's a collage page from a card that I really liked and some old stampings. I just kind of use my Hobonichi with whatever makes me happy. I really love drawing plants. I just like to sit and watch TV and draw plants. Some Zentangles, some cool little circles I liked. Just kind of use it for all sorts of things. This was a page from a book. I liked the quote on it, and one of the prompts for the Hobonichi Challenge was an inkwell. This was just another drawing I did, and some writing, just playing and kind of using watercolors. More plants, a little collage. I just kind of like to do whatever I feel like in my Hobonichi and just kind of draw and let things go. This one was a really cool one. I like the Hobonichi Challenge because it has me 
draw things that I would never ever think to draw before and I've never been able to draw feet but I tried it here and it actually turned out really well. Sometimes I find little magazine bits. I love to cut up magazine bits to put into my journals and this is actually a hand carved stamp I had and I just repeated it. It worked out perfect for bubble tea. Just a page off a calendar I got from our realtor who I love to death. She's amazing. Um, she sent us a calendar this year and I just like that it said thankful, grateful, blessed on it. It was a pretty picture. Just some more Hobonichi challenge prompts. This is my favorite art bag. I take it to work every day. I bought it from Bukhau or Boku. I'm not quite sure how they pronounce that, but it's from Canada and they hand print the fabric and I'm just in love with my bag. For this year, I'm actually following um, an idea from somebody else, my realtor and also my boss at work. She chooses a word every year to work on um, through her year, and so my word this year is revive. And I'm just going to work on that word and kind of how it works in faith and life and all of that. And so this was just a quote that I found in the Bible about revival, and so that's my New Year's resolution. And then here's February. So this time I printed off a um, the list on a little piece of... Uh, photo paper from my, um, what do I have? I have the Polaroid Zip, and I really like it. So I just took a photograph of it and printed it on a piece of um, little note card. This is a little calendar from Little Raven Ink, Courtney Diaz. I follow her on Patreon, and she has the most amazing collage sheets ever. So I put that in there, too, because it was so cute. Just a little note card from work, a stamp I like, just kind of some random things that I put in here that I like. And so then, again, I'm just following the February challenges some different things for February. I really love washi tape. I like to use it as accents on the pages just kind of throughout. So February, I kind of just have been doing the prompts. We had thunder snow this month, um, this day, and I just totally loved it. It was such an eerie experience. It's happened a few times in my life, but this was the most recent one, and I just wanted to draw about it. Just a little bunny. I'm kind of trying to do a pink and purple theme for February, so it's been going okay. Little teapot with a little quote. How I do my works is I actually draw them in pencil with my sumo grip first, which I love. This is um, the .09 sumo grip. It has the uh, eraser that telescopes out, and it has nice thick lead and a really good pencil grip. And so it really feels really nice, and I like the way the lines are really thick with the thicker lead. And so I draw it in pencil, and then I watercolor, and then I always go over with my Pigma Microns, which I keep in a pilot case. This was uh, from one of my fountain pens I got. And so I keep my microns in there and I use them all the time. I'm obsessed with them. They live forever. They're wonderful. So this year I decided um, that I was not only going to work in the front pages as the days go by, but I'm also going to work in the back because what happened last year is I did from the front to the back and the spine got really messed up. And this year I've just been having so much fun. I've just decided that if I want to do extra pages, I can do extra pages. So here's another one that I've just kind of already pre-done. I was swiping some colors, and this is another piece of um, ephemera I got from Little Raven Ink. Um, I printed it on a piece of vellum paper, and so it kind of is see-through, and I just really like the way it worked. So I'm kind of going through some days and just adding a little extra. Here's some more swatches and some flowers I saw. So then we have those few pink dotted pages in the back that I kind of am working with. Um, and then I have started kind of doing collages in the back here. So just a couple things I printed out. Another Monday mantra from Little Raven Ink. That I just love her stuff. Um, this was just a magazine collage piece that I really liked how she did it. So I just added it in there. We've got some more doodles and watercolor swatches. So I'm just kind of playing around with colors in the back and just doing some extra things. Because I know if I fill the back and the front, it'll be more even on the spine. This girl was kind of inspired by Little Raven Ink. She always draws antlers on her little creatures, so I just kind of wanted to try something new while I was watching TV. This is another collage. This was a rub-on from Jane Davenport. It's kind of hard to read with the watercolor background, but I still think it looked good. This is actually from the inside of a security envelope. Um, this I cut out of a book. This I got from some free vintage graphics, and this is some Tim Holtz paper. So I just kind of keep a scrap box and kind of do little collages however I want. I was working on mixing colors, just some purples and blues, and I did a little, I stamped a mermaid on some vellum paper and stuck her in here. This is actually a heart from Art Journal Girl. I follow her on Instagram, and I really like her stuff, so I bought that off of her Etsy shop, and as you can see, just more stamps and papers and things. More swatchings. I love the ocean. I'm so excited to go back to Florida. I'm come, going to go back and visit my dad in May, so I'm always talking about the ocean. 
just a cactus drawing, so just kind of, I fill it with drawings, whatever I want. This I got from an Ipsy bag, and I just really liked what it said, so I put it in my journal. The girl kind of inspired me, this quote inspired me to kind of draw like a moon child, so here she is. So, eventually I'll watercolor her, and then go over her, um, with a Pigma, Mi Pigma Micron to get the fine lines all colored in. Just some splashing colors, some mermaid hair, um, and some more blue colors. So I just kind of like to play around on my Hobonichi and fill it up. Um, so the beginnings, I plan to do the Hobonichi challenges, but I imagine that I'll probably have this all filled by May, and so then I may buy another Hobonichi um, for May to December and just kind of use the beginning pages then as kind of some fill-in. So yeah, that's how I use my Hobonichi and my colors in it and everything. I do use these bookmarks, but sometimes I just take them out and I forget to put them back in. So I hope you like this video and I look forward to making more based on your responses and what you like. So let me know and we'll go from there. Thank you.